Hey, your viewers and viewers. You had one job, Andrew. I had one job. And yeah, that you was had one job. You, but I, I interrupted you because I had one job, and that was to keep silent, and Indeed I failed. It was, oh, yes. dear. Indeed. You know, that little segue, yes. Oh, dearie me. You know, I I don't know if I can invite you back for any more reddits after this, Phil, if you're going to be like that, eh? Hey? Well, you are going to invite me back because yeah, you love me so much. Yeah, yes. I do. I love so, you so much. Mm-hmm. we're looking at one job. I have we done this one before? No, I don't I think, think we, we have. Have we not done one job I before? I don't think okay. we've done this one. No, it doesn't seem familiar. Um, so, okay, yeah. well, so for people who aren't aware, this, this this subreddit is for people who expected to do a particular type of job and completely and utterly failed. failed. <laughs> uh, didn't do it at yeah. all well. Mm. Um, okay, so we'll have a look at this uh, street in Germany, shall we? Street in Germany be like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... Um, the painters, repainters, they've uh, they've not done a good job there. Indeed. We thought, uh, did they not have like a special equipment that could make sure it lines up nice and smoothly? But apparently not. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see what you mean. Yeah, I mean, the, the right side is a little better than the left. A little, uh, but, but not by much. Especially that one. <laughs> that, that, that white block, he's, he's going on his own adventure, that oh, one. Yeah. Like, see you away. later. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. Me. Yeah, it's that one. Indeed, yeah. Um, well, uh, it's funny that. You wouldn't have thought that you'd see that in Germany, the country of efficiency and getting things, uh, you know, know, absolutely in order and all that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, somebody's oh, been having one too many German Germany. beers. Come on, get your efficiency back into gear. Oh, yeah. I will make the paint lines after I've had my German beer. <laughs> there we are, indeed. Uh, needed some blinds for a dark room at work. The guy came to measure the window and assured us it would be completely dark. This is what they installed. Let's have a look. That's dark. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a complete cowboy friggin'. Oh my god. That's not. Oh dear, that is. Uh, it, it looks like it's in the style of one of those blackout curtains. I've got blackout curtains in my bedroom. Yeah. Oh my good god, they work efficiently. Oh, Even dear. when it's as bright as day, uh, they they really don't put try to put any light through. They're really yeah. good, but yeah, that's uh, not doing very well there. They I it's uh, still uh, poking light, still poking through the sides there. Yeah. Even though it does look like a main blackout sort of blind, but I still. Mean, yeah. Clearly, this guy, this person who's put them up, is a complete cowboy like there's no way a sane competent friggin um person who installs blinds would not notice that it clearly doesn't cover the entirety of the window well yeah, yeah. i mean what's going on here mm, indeed. come on now get your act together yeah hope you hope you didn't have to shell out too much money for that uh, op because that is terrible indeed yeah mm. uh right so my dad's memorial reef has been on its face for 13 months and we only just got notified oh Okay, a, a memorial oh. reef. That's interesting. So an underwater memorial, right? Yes, that's it. Oh, that's that's. It's really nice, but uh, yeah, it's it's not been in quite the right position. Yeah, I mean, the um, um, thing is, like, I, I'm sort of in two minds about this one. Like, yeah, that kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's like if it's an underwater memorial meaning basically you need full diving gear like that person has on the picture in order to get to it. Like, how often are you going to go down there? Like, yeah. it's just... I, I wouldn't be surprised if it does get, like, knocked over by water currents well, or anything. Yeah. we've got a bit of a, a story. Oh, uh, I've read you from the OP in the comments. Okay. Uh, so... <clears throat> In 2021, my dad passed away after a long bout of cardiovascular issues and an infection that caused his aortic aneurysm to rupture. My dad loved fishing in the Florida Panhandle with my uncle and was a supporter of the Artificial Reef Association, which creates artificial habitats for sea life. So he made the decision to have him interred in a reef so that he could be part of the ocean he loved so much. His reef was placed last year and we were told that the Artificial Reef Authority would be regularly monitoring so we could check the progress of the habitat. 13 months later, we still haven't heard anything, so my brother asked when it would be surveyed as we were curious about how things were developing. On Saturday, we finally got an answer. The Reef Association found the reef had tipped over as it was being placed, and even worse, the side in the sand is the side with our dad's mark and urn embedded. Because the bottom is open, it also provides no effective predator protection for the sea life that normally settles in the reef, so it isn't even really effective for its intended (laughs) purpose. Right? The Reef Association knew about this within two weeks of the drop, but never bothered to inform us, claiming they hoped we would fix it before we could find out. They then told us they have determined fix would be too dangerous, as the divers have no experience with salvaging using airbags. Now my family may have to spend thousands of a professional salvage crew straight in the reef, which may not even be possible because they waited 13 months to inform us and there may now be an dis- established ecosystem that can't be disturbed. Wow. Okay, right. well, yeah, that, that clarifies a lot of things then. Right. Yeah. yeah. That is definitely a one-job moment. So they knew it had tipped over but didn't say anything. Okay, yeah, yeah you know what? Now I'm more, much more sympathetic um, yeah. oh, to dear. the OP. Yeah, that, is, that sucks um, so much. Sorry, Indeed. sorry, dear. Yeah, at yeah. least we got the information. Okay. Yeah. Uh, somebody's house down the block. 
Let's have a look here. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Well, that, um, how hmm. did this happen? Um, uh, oh, I like uh, I'm 28 in us in the comments. Uh, there's a hidden lever somewhere. Just need to solve the puzzle. <laughs> yes, this looks uh, like a, a puzzle game for us. Yes. Yeah. How how has that happened? Mm. How have they put the stairs there? What came first? The chicken? Yeah. No, uh, the door or the stairs? Indeed. That's what I kind of want to know here. Like, how? Just like how how do these things happen, Phil? How, how does it happen? How do people not? Do, 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 I, I know. I, how I do you know. not line it up? I know. <laughs> I can't even say anything because it's just like so dumbfoundingly weird and just. Maybe odd. they want to give you a bit of extra. Maybe this person is actually a uh, uh, an interest in parkour, and so they just want to go into their house by the window. <laughs> Maybe. <Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Someone doesn't get how doors and staircases outside work. Yeah. There you go. Right. right. I tried to give the USPS some credit, but what the fuck is this? Oh, God. Postal service thing. Uh, Moving so... through network, arrived at the facility, right, over there, departed that facility, arrived at that facility, arrived at that facility, <laughs> and then arrived at Origin again. Oh, dear. So it's basically... It's gone yeah. back to the distribution centre, yeah. It went back and forth a bit. Yeah, yeah that's it did, just... didn't it? God, God. Um... Yeah, it's like going back and forth constantly to ones it's already been to. Somebody clearly uh, in the USPS doesn't know what the fuck they're doing with that package or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that, that seems to have gone all over the place, that. Yeah. Hmm. Indeed. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's funny how, uh, you know, it's always fascinating on Amazon where you can track your package and it says, arrived at such and such a distribution centre and all that, out yeah, of postage. Yeah, But yeah, but this is just fucking ridiculous, this is. <laughs> I know, it kept bouncing back, God's sake. Yeah, indeed. Okay, um, does anyone notice the issue here? Let's have a look. So is that a... Let's see what, what issue. The full keyboard in question. Full right. keyboard in question. Oh, it's like a, so it's a QWERTY keyboard. And I'm looking. Uh, I'm looking at, so it's a laptop. God, I have to like turn my head and I'll see it because it's freaking... Dear... All right, so he's got a zoomed in picture. Look at D and H, it says. So D and H are there. Um, what's the issue here? I don't understand. Um, am I being right. dumb? Am QWERTY. I being... Yeah, I'm just trying to look as well. I'm trying to yeah. match it to my own keyboard, actually. Yeah. Uh, to see if, see if I can see anything. Um, yeah, because I'm looking at my keyboard as well. I don't see anything odd about that. Am I, oh, oh, am I being dumb, ladies and gentlemen? Am I just missing something that should be blatantly obvious? Huh? Let's have a look. I yeah. Think. It says... I'm looking through the comments, like, to see if anyone... Um, it's sideways? What? Yeah, the pictures are sideways. What... What, what did they... I don't understand what's going on here. What... I'm just looking. Um, you know, it's going to come up with letters are lowercase, not caps. Well, okay, that's odd, but sure. Oh, is it some? Uh, it seems to be something to do with the pa the power. Um, oh. Oh, I see it. I see it. Ah, oh, the power button's above backspace. So oh. if you accidentally uh, yeah. want to backspace something, you might accidentally click the power button and turn the laptop off. Okay. So why on the second picture does it say "Look at D and H"? Why is it drawing our attention to that though? Because that seems normal. To me, like it that might. second picture, I don't get what that is. Um, I think it might be pointed off, but yeah. that's that's the reason. Yeah, it's the power. I see. Yeah, the power button above the, is above backspace, so you make do your document mm. accidentally shut the power yeah. off. I just yeah, that the, that shouldn't be there. Yeah, I'm just looking at the comments. It sounds like the power button thing though is not the thing that the OP is trying to sort of point out here, which is really weird. So hang on, I'm, I'm just trying to figure this out. Um, so, oh, the bumps are supposed to be on F and J. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Uh, oh okay, now I see. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, you always have the bumps on F and J. Yeah, because oh. it, it was supposed to be a helpful uh, uh, typing. But yeah, okay, it looks like there's two issues here. Yeah. Okay. Um, that was a confusing one. Uh, <laughs> we had fun there, didn't we? We did. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Right. Okay. Well, so yeah. look at the next one then. Uh, so Dublin Jet Bridge rips door off of American Airlines oh, Boeing seven eight seven eight. I've actually got a different one before that one, Phil. Uh, that says stand left and right. Do you see that one on your screen? Uh. Or is that lower down for you? We can always go with Dublin Jet Bridge one, though. If you yeah, okay. Uh, Let's go with the Dublin Jet Bridge one, then. So, yeah. let's have a look. 
Oof, rips door off. Oh dear. Oh god, yeah, you can see it on the air. Uh, there it yeah. is on the floor. So I'm assuming maybe some ground crew worker maybe didn't secure that properly, or they put. Yeah, the, uh, I, I think what's happened. And uh, oh, I love Mudiddles in the comment. Oh. That's an expensive whoops. <laughs> yeah, that is. An yeah, expensive that is quite whoops. an expensive whoops. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Yeah, that's come off. Uh, well, someone's on, flight there has uh, clearly been cancelled. <laughs> or delayed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Indeed, that uh, really, yeah. really does suck. Um, right, um, next one then. Uh, remember, I oh know it's a promoted one. Um, finally built the stairs. Right. Have a look at this one here. Uh, oh. Um, hmm. So it goes up to a walkway up there, but. Uh, what? Oh, I think. Oh, God, I think there's. Um, they've. Um... This part of the banister is inside the other banister. Yeah, it is. I think that's what's happened there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that, that doesn't look. That doesn't look right yeah, at all. Yeah, it doesn't. It's like the perspective on it's a bit weird. Um, yeah, that's. Ooh, that's. They've done. They've not built those properly, have they? Yeah, they haven't. That's, that is really bad. <laughs> it does look a bit weird. Yeah, it's just not quite properly done. Um, there no. you go. Yeah, that is a strange that one. That job needed to be done a lot better than that one. Yeah. Okay. I had to look at that for a few seconds to sort of figure out what was going on. It's like my mm. eyes were looking at it, like my brain was saying, yeah, something's wrong, but I couldn't quite say what it was, kind of, at first. Oh, yeah. Dear. But I think you've just, yeah, something Yeah, that, that's, I think that's what I think that's what's happened there. Yeah. Um, so we've got a, uh, <clears throat> so I've got multi-trillion dollar university and they settled on this. Yeah, I've got a different one before that, but yeah, let's go with a multi-trillion dollar university one. For some reason I've got ones that you don't seem to have, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh wow, the handles are all. <laughs> yeah, that's. Oh um, dear. Well, it's that it's that left handle really. Um, mm. Why have you put the handle down there? Yeah. <laughs> oh god. You need to put it. When when people are doing these designs, do they not think? Yeah. Do they? Uh, or do they make it like that? They've made the cupboard like that. Look at it and go, oh shit! Oh well, it's too late now. <laughs> yeah. But surely only... that would be an easy process. Could you not un take the handle out, or or would that be a bit too yeah, difficult to do? Yeah. The only person who I can think of in my life who I knew once goofed up putting a cupboard door on because he actually managed to somehow nail it shut was my granddad on my father's side of the family, and he was the guy who eventually got diagnosed with Alzheimer's. <laughs> right, oh, okay. Yeah, so oh, uh, somebody really failed at that one. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Indeed. Um, let's see. Right. Uh, have to see this three times a day. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh. <laughs> oh okay, oh. Oh, dear. Um, yeah. That's um, unfortunate. There we are. Yes, sir. Uh, I, well, that's what you say. That's what we say. Thursday likes to be unique. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Thursday. Indeed. Trying to be unique there. Yeah. Also, pretty, pretty colourful. Yeah. People in the co uh, uh, comments also say uh, that um, you know if it's like colours of the sort of spectrum or the rainbow or whatever, cyan is in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's all it's all gone tits up here. It has. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. That's oh it. dear. Well, <sighs> yeah. Th so these simple. are funny. These are so funny to see, aren't they? These they one are. job ones. I must yeah. say. <laughs> Indeed. Mm. Right. Uh, how does this happen on a burger? Again, I've got another one before that, but that's fine. We'll go to the burger one. Oh dear. Um, the tomato has come out of the burger. Just, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that you know, I think the tomato is supposed to be inside the burger, not there. No, no, no. <laughs> it gives it nice decoration. It's a fancy yes. burger with its own tomato on its head. Indeed. Uh, I think what's happened is they mu they must have accidentally put it on. Um, when when they were creating the burger, maybe they uh, maybe they put it on top and they were planning to put it in, but yeah. forgot about it and then wrapped it up. Yeah, I mean um, it looks like yeah, it's like a fast food takeout burger or something. So probably it's just like someone um, who was hmm. putting the burger together was like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll just put the tomato on top. It's not like they'll come back and complain or anything. <laughs> yeah, over a burger. But yeah, everyone loves having you know all those tomato juices dribbling into your bun and making it soggy when you're holding it, don't they, ladies and gents? Exactly. <laughs> Indeed, um, it's the new style of burger. Indeed. Actually, I've got that one now, uh, the charge by the mile. Okay, let's so we do can, that we one can take a look at this one, shall we? Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh dear. Um, uh, why is that gutter like that? Yeah. Is what's that... what's that? Is it because they? Uh, oh no, they're not trying to uh, make more money by making it a bit longer, are they? <laughs> Who knows? By doing that. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Um, 
that's a bit wacky that one yeah I mean the thing is like just the way it's sort of set up there that gutter pipe it's like the water's going to get backed up uh, in that corner there and then it's going to take a while for it to actually oh yes yeah, to go down yeah oh yeah because water pressure can take a while to push it along yeah indeed mm. That's not good design at all. That could also be uh, in crappy design, that, as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. It's just, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> what the hell's that about? Good Lord. Yeah. Um, um, right, um, next one. So, ah, uh, yes. The classic Mary Shelley, written by Frankenstein. <laughs> uh, where is it? The, oh, oh yeah. yes, oh, I see, yeah. So, <laughs> oh. in, in this case, the uh, the authors are supposed to be in red. Yeah. And the, the book title is supposed to be in black. Well, you know, no, there's probably a parallel happen. universe out there. You never know where, instead of regular humans, the world is populated by Frankenstein's monsters and they write books about how a scientist created a perfectly normal human being. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. That would be an interesting uh, interesting story, that one, if it's that way around. Yes, um, strange. Yes, indeed, indeed. Someone probably actually already has written like a book of, like that where the theme is like... It could be, yeah. yeah. Something like yeah. that about, you know, themes of like perfection and striving for mm. it and things like that. Yeah. Over to you, right. Phil. So close to clever, but not quite. Indeed. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, come on now. Oh, dear. The birth to today. <laughs> oh, yes, geez. they haven't, haven't quite done that. I haven't quite done that right, have you? The yes. design of that candle. Indeed. Um, oh, well. A bit of thinking. Yeah. Um, someone failed uh, primary school uh, spelling lessons, clearly. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, the comments. Happy birth, D Day. Oh, Cube Island PTSD flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. Happy uh, birth, D Day. Yes. Um, don't well, say that to a World War II veteran. No, no. God, no. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Yes, that was a clever one. Uh, my teacher printed the video file on paper. Oh, she didn't. <laughs> or he didn't. Oh, oh no. Why have you gone and done that? Yeah. Oops. Um, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, not particularly helpful now, is it? We're not at that stage yet where video files can be played via paper. Maybe in the year 2030 it might happen, but not as of yet, I'm afraid. Interactive paper. That's it. Oh yes, that's that's the days, isn't it? When you're on the uh, interactive interactive papier, as they say in Germany. There is a uh, five-minute video on YouTube. I think it's like on Microsoft's YouTube channel, or something like that. It's like their vision of the future, and it's like yeah. this crazy future where, like, literally they have like uh, eye newspapers and stuff like that, where you can like swipe the images and things like that on it. <laughs> it's uh, quite something to behold. But yes, it is uh, quite yes, indeed. I'm sure someone's working on it. Uh, um, it's you, isn't it? Uh, right. Okay. Um, so I, I will not be needing the missile anus form at this time. <laughs> the missile anus form. Missile anus form. <laughs> I think What's that's that supposed, supposed to be. To be? Is yeah. that supposed to be miscellaneous? Not. Oh uh, God! Yes, it probably yeah. is, isn't it? <laughs> Indeed. Someone um, clearly didn't check a dictionary. I know, that's that's big time. Yes, uh, indeed. Yeah. Don't you just like to fill out a form about your missile anus, Phil? So, well, come on, I, I, you need to you need to before you say you not think when you put it in as well that it's gonna create a laugh as well. We all know yeah. what anus is. Ah oh, dear. I want to know uh, you know, where this um where this is. Is this like in a school or a workplace or something? I don't yes, know. it looks like it, doesn't it? But they have those little uh, plastic <laughs> things on the side. Someone there. says these are required if you eat lunch at Taco Bell. Oh god, yeah. Jeez. Good lord. Yeah. Never seen an animal with the name milk before. Let's have a look. Uh, oh. Chicken, pig. Uh, have you, <laughs> have okay. you got a different I, one? I don't understand. You've never heard of the milk before? Never heard of it's the an, milk. It's a great animal. Yeah, the milk uh, it cannibal. Gives, if, you, if you squeeze its udders, it produces cow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You yeah, know, you get cow from it. There, there's also the egg animal that produces chicken. Yeah. Uh, oh, I tell you what, I do love a bit of cow on my cereal. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, lovely. The pork animal that produces pig. Here you go. Mm. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. Milk. That's how it works. Yes. I, rock, I rock, wonder if what happened here is they were actually uh, they actually had another one that actually had uh, milk on it. Oh God, is that going to be called cow now? Yeah, uh, indeed. What's happened here? Indeed. Okay. Uh, right, so we've got a US Pacific Fleet Twitter account celebrating the US Independence Day with Soviet Su-27 <laughs> fighter aircrafts and caching class destroyers. Oh dear. Um, someone doesn't know what uh, kind of assets their own service uses. <laughs> oh dear God. Oops. Um, oh yes, that has just—it's not—it's not, it's not it, that has just been, hasn't it? That, yeah, Fourth um, of July. Day. Mm. 
uh, course <laughs> traitors there, yeah. Wow, there we are. No, I keep saying this, I keep saying this hundred times. If I lived during that period, I would be on the American side because, um, yeah, what, what the, the process of owning countries, no, shouldn't have been doing that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> indeed. There you go. So yes, uh, duh, ladies and gentlemen, it is definitely US Independence Day. <laughs> Okie dokie. There we are. Solar powered streetlight. Let's have a look. Ah, I see That's... a problem here. <laughs> I don't know if you've spotted it, Andrew, but there seems to be quite a problem here. No, what um, could possibly I don't know... be wrong with that? <laughs> where, where is it that the sun can penetrate concrete? Mm. Mm. Do you not know? Concrete, classically a very transparent material, apparently. Exactly. <laughs> I suppose if you if you did move the uh, if you did move the sun a bit closer to Earth, it might just be able to penetrate concrete. Um, <laughs> yes. If you move it a bit closer to the point where it can melt through the concrete. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then vaporize everyone on planet Earth as well. Indeed. Yeah, that's uh, that needs to be moved quite urgently. Quite considerably. Yeah. Uh, so what is it made of? Ooh, let's have a look. Uh, uh, we might need to make this a bit bigger. Okay, so it's uh, made of aluminium. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a uh, hammered cutlery set. Oh, I'm assuming, oh, dish, oh I'm assuming, is it actually steel? Yeah. It's the most cutlery is steel, isn't Indeed, it? Indeed, yeah. I'm assuming alum aluminium is not dishwasher safe then. Um, yeah, or as the comments say, this is actually made of cutlery. Oh, there you yeah. go. <laughs> yes, the cutlery is made of cutlery. <laughs> Who knew? Mm. Who knew? Who knew? Indeed. Yeah. Right. Uh, where are we? Uh, well, somebody gave up. Did they? Oh, they certainly did. <laughs> oh yep. dear. Yep. Or well, they ran out. Yes, as they say yeah. in the comments. Yeah, I see there. Yeah, they could have. They looks like they might have run out. Um, yeah. Or they just got bored. Yeah. Someone uh, placed um, too many orders for white tiles and not enough for blue. <laughs> oh, I, I thought that was a random red tile up there, but yeah. I think that's the COVID sticker. To oh, stand six feet apart, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it might be actually, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, point. that's uh, boredom or something came up then. Yeah, indeed. Right. Um, okay, so we've got uh, was reading, then suddenly the story made no sense. Okay. Uh, so... Oh, that's quite evident. Why? Oh, where yeah. are we? So are we looking at that second page? Oh, wait a minute. No, I just looked at the page numbers. Yeah, yeah. I was looking at the text. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. That's um, probably something that went wrong during the printing process. Yeah. yeah. Also, it's gone the opposite way. What? Uh, 148, yeah. 117. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, dear. Yeah. I once had a book like that. So it was years ago. It was a copy of Lord of the Rings. And some of oh, the pages dear. were in the wrong order. Yeah. <laughs> it's a printing error, I'm assuming. Oh, dear. Very bad printing yeah. error. It's funny. Okay. Like J.R.R. Tolkien, I've sometimes tried reading his books, but I could never get into them. I Could just, you not? Yeah. I've never actually watched any of the Lord of the Rings films, to be honest. Uh, I've watched them, but not for years. It was years yeah. and years ago. Um, yeah, I just, if for some reason, something about stories, I just could never, ever get into them. I'd like to read a few chapters, but then I just never got any further. Yeah, indeed. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I, I went on a bit of a digression there. <laughs> uh, this gas meter installed right where trucks pull up to the loading dock. Right. Oh, uh, oh that's... Uh. That's not in the right position. No, that's that's not been put yeah. at all right. Because trucks need to get right up to that door there, and that's kind of in the way. Uh... Yeah, there's two problems here. Problem number one is the trucks will need to get up to the door to do that unloading and loading. And the second thing is when the uh, you know the 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 man comes to meet uh, to read the meter, mm. what happens if there's a truck there loading? Yeah. He has to wait. get any access to it, is he? <laughs> Indeed, yeah. Uh, you yeah. Just have to squeeze between the wall and the truck very carefully. <laughs> Sometimes. I'm wondering if, if if people's thoughts are going away with them because you would think, oh, hang on a minute, I probably should be putting this here. Mm. Yeah, um, <laughs> indeed. But it reminds me though when I used to work at Booth supermarkets and they get you doing like health and safety courses and things like that, or like yeah. the nightmare stories that the health and safety rep tells you about people who died on like loading docks because they were fucking hit oh. by trucks and things. It's just like oh, oh god. god, yeah, you have to be yeah. careful. <laughs> indeed, you have to be careful. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. Favourite one was the the guy who told us about the story of a manager who like poked his head out of the loading dock door because uh, he couldn't get a signal on his mobile just as a truck was like pulling up right to him. Oh, his, no. his head got basically flattened against the wall. Oh, ah. Yeah, that's uh, lovely. Nasty. Indeed. Very nasty, that one. Yeah. Hmm, uh, tough choice. What's your tough choice? Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, oh, what, what are we going to go for there? Um, <laughs> no, uh, you should do it. 
pay that yep. pay that twenty one dollars twenty four cents for shipping. Mm, indeed. Yes, uh, that's. Um, hmm. Oh, I can't. I can't make the decision, Phil. I can't possibly decide. Do I spend more money getting it a day later, or do I just suck it up and get the uh, free shipping? <laughs> why not? Why not have a bit of excitement in your life and wait that extra day? Yeah, that's you know, it. Live without that twenty one, twenty four dollars. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Live without that. Two right. more, I think we should do. So, th- what's the, the the second to last one here, Andrew? This has got to be a mild symptom of psychopathy, Phil. Oh, does it? Are you sure? <laughs> oh, oh dear! Oh, um, like someone playing one of those match three puzzles and doing yeah. it all wrong. Indeed, yeah. indeed. Yeah. But uh, I wonder if they did this to troll. Possibly. Yeah. You can quite clearly see the rest of it's all done. Mm. Are they trolling here? Yeah, you do sometimes wonder with a lot of these things, you know, how much of it is just genuinely people being dense or how much of it is people doing it deliberately for a laugh. <laughs> well, that's what we've yeah. got to think about. Indeed. Okay. Indeed. And, and one, we shall end it with a simple toiletton in a public bathroom. Oh. <laughs> right. How do you put that lid down, Phil? Yes, and they're saying, uh, please put down the toilet seat on that sign there. Yes. Um, oh, dear. Oh, dear. I was having dear. a lot of frogs getting into the toilet. <laughs> oh. Wow. Um, yeah, well, I can't really shut the toilet because sorry. there's a giant metal bar in the way. <laughs> I love how it says on the sign, if you do not wish to be kissed by the Prince of Frogs, close the lid. <laughs> yeah, that's one way well, of putting it. Well, it's pretty hard to do that um, <laughs> yeah. sign because, uh, yeah, we've got a giant metal bar in the way. Indeed. Which is obstructing. Yes. yes. I blame the frogs. Maybe they put that there because they want to do they some... Did. They installed that. Do they you want to do some butt that. kissing? <laughs> That's it. They yeah. installed that, put that there. Indeed, yes. Well, that's uh, something I didn't. Um, that's an image that I didn't uh, know I was going to have in my head of frogs jumping up towards <laughs> someone's butt. Um, but I guess that's uh, an image that's now in my head, Phil. Um, there we that's, are. That's going to be an image of boing as they go up the person's ass. <laughs> oh, it's nice up here. Yeah, indeed. Oh, no. Yes. Um, nice and moist up here, isn't it, Phil? Oh, yes. Nice and moist. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's enough of that one then. <laughs> Good Lord. Thanks for joining me there, Phil. Oh, we've had, I think we've had a good time there, haven't we? Yes, we have indeed. Do you want to do the outro this time, Phil? To uh, make up the fact that you had one job during the intro? Hmm? Oh, hmm? I can't do the outro. That's your job. Oh, oh no. Uh, uh, oh, uh, God, how do I do it? How do I do an outro? Um, uh, oh, uh, dislikes, lots of dislikes, and uh, don't follow you on Facebook or Twitter or any of those. Don't Just don't follow. And uh, this is us signing on. Hello. Hello, everybody. Shit. Screwed up everything there. Yes, we did indeed. All right, goodbye, folks. Goodbye. I think I'm okay, though. He can get me, bitch. Oh, good Jesus Christ. No. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Shut that door. Oh. Oh. Get me out. Get me the fuck out. Oh, my God. He's locked the doors. Oh, God. Oh, Lordy. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, this is bad. Oh, boy. Where's the clocks? A clock's in this place. Lasers! Okay, first time we've had a threat in this game. One of these games, even. Shit, what am I supposed to do? Oh, that's a bad place to be. Why am I there? No. Uh, kitchen. Oh, there's a clock in here. Old clock. Right, who's in the kitchen? Oh, fuck, really? What the hell? He doesn't fucking stop the game whilst you're doing that? He just constantly attacks you? What the fuck? Oh, God, I'm, like, listening to one side.